crazy. <laughs>
I mean, I'm not particularly drawn to them. I could be drawn to any genre as long as, uh, or any kind of script, as long as it's exciting and has got people that make you feel alive and you want to work with. But no, I, I wouldn't say it's something I'd, I gravitate to. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. No, is it, do you find it more freeing as an actor to play a character that, you know, is so removed from today's world? Is that why you kind of keep going back? No, I don't think so. I think. <laughs> But I suppose, yeah, there's definitely been about three three period films, I'd say now. Um, and many more to come, guys. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of period costumes in this. Was this nice to kind of play a, a contemporary person? It was really nice not to get into some form of a corset and get on a horse. Yeah, <laughs> to wear a T-shirt and jeans um, was quite refreshing and saves a lot of time. Um, as much as I love a bit of sword fighting and a period <laughs> film, uh, it was nice to be in the 21st century. Had it out was it the same for you? Bless you. Bless you. I do actually feel quite sorry for Uncle George, actually. Thank you. He's quite sad. God knows what he's doing now. Moping around a castle somewhere. Mm. Poor guy. Just rather sad. But Poor both guy. of you. Hope he's had a haircut. I hope he's had a haircut. That's my main <laughs> worry, yeah. Um because of your your beautiful long hair. Even though I cut which, it off. Even though you cut it off. Oh, yeah. Did that make you, me love you a little less? Or more. <laughs> a little less, actually. Oh. I just wanted to be like that long. Less to grab onto, isn't it? I asked the internet what they wanted to know about Joe Alwyn, and they really want to know if you have seen this cat that looks just like you. Called wow. Joe Alwyn. You know what I haven't, but I'm so glad I have now. Do you see the resemblance? Is it the eyes? I hope it's the eyes and not, you know, I mean, I'd take any of it. It's a cute cat. Yeah, it the whiskers, it's the whiskers, right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly, exactly. Coffee. This is the starring French press of today. You put the coffee in, you put your hot water in, you plunge it down, and you drink it straight from this with a little bit of milk. I'm really not a coffee snob, to be honest. I don't have like a place I go to get coffee. I just basically drink it and inject it into my veins. Coffee. That's bananas. <laughs> you know, you're not thrilled to be in way. this marriage, <laughs> and, and for lack of a better way of saying it, um, in real life, would you? Y'all are having way too much fun together. I feel like I'm at a party that I was not invited to. <laughs> you're invited. Oh my gosh, we've got artichokes, we've got bananas, <laughs> we've got everything here. Is drum roll uh, a camera? Obviously. And Yorgos Lanthimos, who was the director of The Favourite, would carry one of these around everywhere he goes. I'd always been pretty interested in photography, but really, I just wanted to copy Yorgos. So how would you describe each other if you could give each other five bullet points? <laughs> uh, kind. Very mm. kind. Person. Funny. Yeah, funny. This funny. person's very funny also. This person is also very funny. <laughs> Who's funnier? Um, well, we're uh, the same, I think. I would say exactly the same <laughs> fun levels of funny. We've funnier. measured it.